Eat his liver. Kidney. Kidney soup. I think you're mental, you know. Smile to Jana is now on Twitch. Oh, thank you. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jenna. It's just games. No. The gaming scene. Coming from somebody who hasn't been in the gaming scene for like 13, 14 years and who's just jumped into it. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Yeah? Just so he can relate to what the youth are going through, what they're experiencing. So the advice that I give or we give can be specific, relevant and practical for them. You know what? I was actually very surprised with what I learned from one day playing Tekken. The first thing was the instructions. They are so precise. I joined the game thinking punch, kick, punch, kick and maybe you know a super move here and there have a bit of a laugh have a bit of a giggle but the instructions are so precise for example there's one for a spinning kick you do forward forward circle if you miss out one forward it doesn't work and for the fireball punch you have to press forward then triangle x square very quickly you see that yeah triangle x square Whilst pressing, so forward triangle square, forward triangle square. If I do like this, now that's grandpa flex in this game. If the timing's off, the move doesn't work. If one button is missed, it doesn't work. So likewise, Allah tells us the buttons for our inner peace. <laughs> Those buttons are L1 and circle. Why L1? Because the Lord is one. And of course, the center to every circle is one. So according to the ayats of the Quran, remembrance of Allah will lead you to contentment and happiness. And the further you go away from Allah, the more your life will be filled with misery and depression, frankly. So these are the two buttons, yeah? Remembrance and worship. You gotta press them together, otherwise the move won't work. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, one second. I'm a jinn. What? Oh, oh bro, you see how you fell on your head? You flip it. Oh, you miss, brother. Ooh, you see that miss? But I flew over your head, bro. I'm kicking you in there like a football. Yeah, I don't even need to play FIFA. I'm playing FIFA on your head. Okay, let me calm down. Oh, you see that? Ooh, oh, damn. got sparked out, brother. That's the call, the KO. Janazit. There you go. Well, you're not allowed to use electric, bro. Fight like a man. Yeah, kick him. Oh, damn. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, you're you know like what? It. I need to end I'm this quickly. No, 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 come here, little boy. The boy. Okay. Ooh, I, I kicked you in the head, bro. The second thing was learning the rules. Yeah, they say pick a character and then learn his moves. Yeah, and there's a practice uh, mode where you're just standing in front of uh, a person that doesn't do anything and then you can practice your moves on them. Yeah, and there are literally, I would say, at least 20 moves per character. And you have to sit there, practice it, learn it become better, implement it on that dummy and then you're ready to go into battle. If you don't do that and you button smash, it's just not going to work and you're going to be dominated. So when a game requires so much uh, dedication and so much respect of the rules, what about the rules of Allah? Don't you think they deserve some respect? Don't you think when praying your salah, you should learn how to pronounce the words properly? You should know what they mean. Yes, yeah? spend that time that you spend perfecting your character in the game to perfecting your character in life. I'm going to give you a haircut now. Cut that haircut. I would have been like, that haircut deserves you to be knocked out. Fight. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> but you stayed, on the, you stayed on the floor more than me. Oh, okay, not to things that okay. Oh, 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 smash his head. <laughs> kick, kick, kick his head, kick his head. Eat his, eat his lungs, finish him. Eat his liver, kidney, kidney soup. I think you're mental, you know. Chicken soup, halal. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Number three, experience in the game actually counts for something. The masters in Tekken, they will talk frame rates. The noobs will talk yeah, what does triangle do? And they button smash. So the difference between the masters and the noobs are masters put in the time, consistency, they're consistent. 
whilst the noobs come in, button smash, they don't like it, they're off. Sometimes they're effective, sometimes they're not effective. I guess that's the same in life, yeah? In Salah, you got some noobs that pray every now and then when they need something like once every two, three weeks. And even that Salah quality is very low. And then if that Salah doesn't work, they start saying, oh, you know, why isn't God helping me? Oh, it's problems with Islam. No, you're a noob, mate. You got to spend time learning the frame rates, learning the moves of your character, and then you can become better at the game. Same with Salah. You got to learn what you're saying, the effectiveness. For example, when you're making dua, yeah, Ya Hayu Ya Qayyum is known as one of the great names of Allah. That if you ask Allah using these names, most ulama of the opinion that inshallah your dua will be accepted. Of course, there are other prerequisites to the dua as well. The point that I'm trying to say is there are tips and tricks, just like in games. Like with the PS5, we're looking at the tips and tricks. What's the button for record? What's this and what's that? It's the same with life. Yeah, if you want your dua to be more uh, effective, you praise Allah at the start. You send salutations on the Prophet Sallallahu Certain things that you can say, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalimeen. This is what Yunus Alayhi Salam said when he was stuck in the belly of the whale. So just like we learn moves for games, you can learn moves for your dua to be more accepted and powerful as well. Let me tell you guys something, yeah? Dishan was like, practice, 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 yeah? Uh, I've been practicing. He's like, you're playing like he was talking so confidently, yeah? You're thinking, let this guy practice, you know, I'm going to spark him. Okay, why hit me in the back, blood? Oh, oh, my head is hurting. I need painkillers. Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, I'll kick you in the head. Oh, come here, come here, boy. Grab your head now. Now it's my time. <laughs> Can you relax this? Oh, oh! What are you saying now, boy? <laughs> Final round, you What are you ah. saying now, boy? Ah. What are you saying now, boy? No, 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 that's cold as ice. Be careful, let's talk about this. It doesn't need to end in the violence. Yeah? No, okay, no, what's no. going we're, on? We're done with the talk. What? We're done with the talk. Oh, what are you doing? This guy learned one skill. Look, we're, we're done, done with the talk. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, you learned one skill. We're done with the talk. You learned one skill. Yeah? It's the end. Oh, have I knocked you out as well? Yeah, but I got up quickly, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's 1-1. One, one. That's the last one, come on. Number four, less is more. Yeah, in Pakistan, when I used to uh, go there, I used to go to the arcades and in the arcades there were only like three games in the arcades. One was Street Fighter, one was Tekken, I can't even remember the other one. But when I would go thinking, yeah, I'm from England, I'm going to go there, I'm going to show them. Bro, the, these people were masters. Yeah, because there were a limited amount of games, they were able to master and destroy anybody. I don't remember winning there, to be honest. They absolutely violated me. Yeah, I, I left that place feeling like somebody had taken advantage of me, frankly. And of course, the world champ, I think it was in 2019, was a Pakistani called Arsalan Ash, <laughs> who beat all the Tekken guys. The biggest at that time was somebody called Knee. And he, you know, dislocated that knee, frankly. <laughs> Because apparently Arsalan Ash is like 16th in Pakistan. Yeah, because it's difficult for those people to get the visas and that sort of stuff. And the funding, of course, the funding is a big thing as well. So 16th and he was able to dominate in the worldwide scene. Why? Because don't do too many things because you're going to be jack of all trades, but master of none. I'm going to smash your head. I would be Finish him, kill him. Let this guy, bro. This guy coming through walls. I'm gonna smash you through that wall again. Inshallah, I'm gonna do this. Thank you so much, guys. So press all the buttons, bro. What the hell are you doing, bro? Look at this guy. You know these people don't even know how to play. What are you doing? Are you doing the same thing? Same thing. All right. Oh, a cup. Yes. Okay. Yeah, finish. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh, oh, please, please. Get him. One kick, that's, oh. that's all that was required, frankly. I did well, I did well, not gonna lie. Okay, okay, we'll finish it. Finish him. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh. What kind of punch was that? You flew me back to Turkey, bro. Straight first class ticket. No, 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 no. Kick him, kick his head. Come on, man. What the hell are you doing? Look at this coward. Like, it's a boy. There you go. Oh, come on, man. Happy what? Now. How is that? What? Nah, bro. Yeah, what's the end? I'm going home, bro. <laughs> okay. Do I win? When is it going to Until next time. I am different mentality. Assalamu alaikum.